If you need to make an extremely big circle outwards to eight feet, this simple DIY tool will do the job for you, guaranteed. And it all can be done for less than $4. Stand by, here we go. It seems complicated, but it really isn't. You need a some sort of ruler. These are the targets marker, a permanent marker, and just a general pencil. Two half inch T's, assorted scrap half inch pipe. Two, these are gonna fit in the ends. This one's a little longer, and I'll, this one's an inch and a half. This one is an inch, but then it has an inch of a two inch shark bite. This is shark bite similar to what I used in my big rebuild. I've come up with some of these, what I'm calling butterfly screws. And this is just a quarter inch, I think it's an inch and a quarter screw. And what I've done is sharpened it to a point, and that will be my pivot point. And of course, the most necessary piece, this is a half inch dowel. You can get them typically anywhere from for a buck for three feet, and that'll give you upwards to a six foot circle. Or you can do what I did and get a four foot one for a little extra, typically a quarter, 50 cents more. And then you can make upwards to an eight foot circle. And these are just these uh, finger things that my kids had. Actually, I got this off of an old pen that doesn't work anymore. Half inch dowel rod, you would think a half inch PVC pipe would be a really tight fit. Well, guess what? Not at all. And that's why I'm using the shark bite tubing for kind of a spacer. I got a half inch countersink from Home Depot and it was just like a hand version and I just put it in here in the drill and it works great. And I've been working with using markers versus paint. So I took a permanent Sharpie marker and I took the T's and just markered them up. It gives it a little bit of shine. It's a little different from paint. And the great thing about this is if for some reason, when I drill the holes later, you'll see, you know, if you mess it up, you just touch up with the marker. It's really easy, really fast. This end, you can see where I've actually taken the half inch. I've put this in. It's a tight fit most of the time. That actually went in pretty easy. But before I put it in, I'm gonna countersink it. Here it is, countersunk. And I'll slide it in the other end here. If you have to, you can always tap it in like this. There you go. Actually, I don't mind it having to be a little firm. It'll make it a little easier, um, even with the butterfly screw. So it took me a while to figure out exactly how was I gonna make a point. I tried all sorts of different solutions. And then I said, well, why don't I just take a quarter inch bolt from my beglary bills. I know that this slides in here like this. And I can tap it down really good. And then it, just, it was just a matter of getting this sharp. So I mounted it. into my drill like this and then turned it on we went back and forth like this at an angle about a 60 degree angle initially i just had it in place and it was taking forever so actually putting some pressure moving it back and forth in a, in a relatively up and down in a straight line and i really got a nice point to it i'm really pleased how that turned out but before i do that i'm going to put this in the one and a three quarter inch I'll slide that in here like this, maybe, okay, and then just slide this thing in here like that, and you could glue it down and I may just do that. And then this will be the pointer end, when I get finished we'll put it in here like that. Now I'm going to make a little hole here and put what I call some of these butterfly bolts for butterfly screws. Not a paid advertisement, but I was at Harbor Freight the other day and I got a whole bunch of these wing nut assortments. 
And so I'm actually using 3 16 inch. So you screw it down here like this. This is a number 10 screw. I believe it's an inch and a quarter. Something over an inch. Put this down like this. Ratchet it down. And voila. You've got a great thing. And that just keeps you from using a screw to tighten and loosen. So I'm using a 5 32nd drill bit so that the threads will hold to the PVC pipe. And you only want to drill the one side because you're going to be coming in contact with the dowel. I just put the spike with the center point in. Be careful not to stab yourself. Had to push it in a little bit. I oh, was just doing a little touch up with the marker. Finishing it off the ends. You can make this black, you can make it whatever color you want. You could just do it white. Totally up to you. Then here we go. Coloring in. Now it's off to do the other end. So this is the end where, where the writing instrument goes in. And there it is countersunk and I'll just drop it in there like this. I want to make sure that the pipe is a little extended past the crevice but I want to make sure it's not blocking this channel where I'm going to be putting in the pen area. For the pen I want something that is sitting there and holds it tight like this. Okay but you can take it out or the pencil I want to be a firm fit and centered and then I'll have two more of these butterfly screws one here and one here one to hold the writing instrument in place and to hold the dowel you wouldn't have to necessarily do this but I want to also have an option of maybe using uh, making a different variation of this a chalk kind of thing for writing outside with circles. And I've used the marker to mark the two positions where I'm planning to drill. Holes are done, and I'm gonna hit it again with the marker just to clean it up and give it a little more extra pizzazz. I hit the dowel with some mineral oil just to protect it a little bit, bring out the grain, and maybe help it slide. The mineral oil also should help it keep it uh, from warping. That's the protection I'm talking about. When you're going to the store to get a dowel, do yourself a favor and make sure you can get the straightest possible one you can get. And the technique I use is I just lay all a bunch of dowels on the f floor of the store, usually it's concrete, and just roll them along. And you can see when they flop around, if it's a straight roll, then that's the dowel you want. And here's the complete build. This one has a permanent marker. You could easily swap it out for a pencil. Very sharp point. Completely adjustable outwards to four feet, which will give you an eight foot circle. I probably will touch up the marker a little bit, maybe hit it with uh, some clear coat to seal it up. But in other words, I'm pretty happy with this build. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Look forward to this piece of gear being used in one of my future builds. Don't want to give it away, but it will be fun.